back on. So this is off. This is back on. So as you can see, everything's way more colorful. Looks just a lot better in my opinion. Let's walk around a little bit more. What's going on everybody? It's Shock with DG. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can increase the quality of your game and make everything look more colorful and vibrant. So I'm going to go to a custom game on Cosign really quickly so I can show you guys. All right, so we're loading a Cosign here. And we're going to pick someone with black eyes so I can show you the difference on the gun and just kind of the map overall. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm using something called NVIDIA Game Filter. This is something that you will get if you have an NVIDIA GPU. So if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, you're not going to be able to do this, unfortunately. Um, and then also I'm using NVIDIA Control Panel Settings. So I'll get into both those here in a second. Really quickly, we'll go into the game. So as you can see, the game looks very, very, very colorful, very vibrant. So we'll go over here, kind of walk around for a second. I do have my graphic settings up, but the graphic settings will not actually make your game more colorful. It's just kind of going to increase the texture quality and all that of the gun. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the settings off now. So this is without the NVIDIA um, game filter. So as you can see, the colors are a lot less vibrant. Um, the game just doesn't look as well. You see up here where the lights are and kind of on the black ice when I turn it back on. So this is off. This is back on. So as you can see, everything's way more colorful. Looks just a lot better in my opinion. Let's walk around a little bit more. Go in this room right here. Let's look at the black ice. I'm going to turn it off. That's off. Back on. So you can see the difference now. So I'll quickly go into the settings. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and hit Alt-Z on your keyboard. And then you're going to see Game Filter. Click Game Filter. Yours is going to be off. So this is what it looks like off again. You're going to want to go ahead and go to styles and go to one and you're going to want to add filter and you want to add details and color. You're not going to see it in here for me because I've already added them, of course, but these are the settings you're going to want to use. Now, I took these settings from a YouTuber named Garfield is Doc. He recently joined Disrupt Gaming as a content creator and his channel was also recently hacked, his YouTube channel. So he's had to start fresh on YouTube. I'll have his channel and his YouTube video on these settings linked below. So if you guys wouldn't mind showing him some love, give him a sub. Um, so these are the settings. Now, I'm also using this and then also NVIDIA control panel settings. So if you want to tab out, type down here in your search bar. You can search NVIDIA control panel. Open it up. It'll take a second to load. And you want to go to adjust desktop color settings. You're going to want to turn your digital vibrance here to 75. So the more left, the less vibrant. You can see it changing here. And the right, the more vibrant. So you're going to want to put it on 75 because that's what I have it on. Hit apply. You can exit out of this. You don't have to restart your game or anything. And then Alt-Z, game filter. Add your filters and copy these settings. This will make your game look a lot better. Something to keep in mind though is that turning your uh, turning your settings on like this, turning this game filter on and turning your digital vibrance up will eat your frames. Having the game filter on will take around 50 frames uh, depending on some maps. So if your computer really can't handle the game filter and it's going to take that much FPS away from you, it's probably not the best idea. But if you've got a beefy computer like mine, uh, go ahead and turn those settings up and it's no problem. All right, so I thought I'd show you guys the outside really quick. So this is outside. Uh, I got auto-picked blitz, but it's whatever. So this is the outside of Coastline. So as you can see, this is with the settings on. So everything looks very, very colorful. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now. So now it's off. Just kind of looks a, little, a bit more bland. Um, doesn't look bad with the graphic settings that I have turned on. But the, these graphic settings really aren't going to increase the color or the color vibrancy of the game. This just kind of increase the, the quality of the textures and stuff like that. So this is off. We're going to turn it back on. I think, this, I think this looks way better. The greens are more greens. The, the purplish pinks are more purplish pink. I think it, everything just looks so much better. All right, so that'll wrap it up. I hope this helped you guys and can increase the color vibrancy of your game. And as always, thanks for watching. We got black, dude. Yeah, I'm going to die to black, dude, though.
Alright, well that's Sledge, Maverick, and Black Good Death. That's really pissing me off, chat. Strange. Very weird. Who is it? Just Mozzie? He's in the bathroom. Yep. Where's sight? What now? Bomb has been located. That wasn't very smart of you, now was it? They down there? This room is rubbing. I thought I heard an idiot, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, I did. There's a vigil nearby. I don't know where. Vigil's in the barbed wire. New. Trolling. Yeah, I know. Yep. 